This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a uh, circle and triangles question here. We've got, uh, let's, first let's take all the info that they give us and make sure that it's just on the chart. So in the given figure, PQ is the diameter of the circle. So I'm just gonna flag in my head that I know that. Um, R is a point on the circle, that's good to know. And PR equals three. So this side right here is equal to three, okay? QR, is equal to, so this side right here is equal to four. What is the area of the circle? Now, uh, you need to have something memorized here. This is, I think, the most esoteric rule in all of geometry, which is, but uh, ACD loves it, so you gotta have this memorized. If you have a triangle inscribed in a circle where one of the sides of the triangle is the diameter of that circle, I know, I told you it was weird, um, then that triangle is a right triangle. So you just need to know that here. Once you know that, um, this becomes a, a pretty quick problem if you also know the Pythagorean triple three, four, five, which you should have memorized. So two of the sides are three and four, so the fifth side needs to be five. Um, the radius, therefore, is 2.5. So you can say uh, 2.5, or let's say, let's call it five halves. The area of a circle is equal to pi r squared or pi 5 halves squared, which simplifies to 25 over 4 pi, which is the fifth answer choice.